does it mean for you to be digital influencer, B2B marketing influencer? What this is new area we see developing. So how's it working for I you? I was doing a, a, a digital strategy project for uh, a fashion retailer in the UK. And we were talking a lot about social media and the importance of social media now for fashion retailer uh, in the promotion and uh, their e-commerce um, pipeline. And so I say, oh, that's, let's try it. And so basically I started on Twitter, sharing my thoughts, extra and spending more and more time. And basically gradually my uh, audience, my followers grew. Um, so, but it wasn't planned. I was just doing, doing this because I, it, it, it was really enjoyable, I would say, because I liked the interactions, I liked the questions. Uh, even the trolls sometimes uh, give me joy. <laughs> um, so it, it, it's only uh, at the end of 2017 that um, uh, Huawei called me and invited me to an event. Uh, if I remember, it was in Berlin and that they called me an influencer. And this is where I think probably the first time I realized, oh, okay, so what I say is basically resonate in a kind of audience uh, in the Twitter sphere and uh, and some brands basically are interested in this connection. But so, so it happened, I would say by accident, it wasn't at all calculated or it wasn't uh, uh, something I worked actively on, it just happened. And um, I continued to share even more, I connected with other influencers, so online or via uh, in conferences, in events, and um, it, it, it really raised a lot of interest. I, it, it's a kind of really new area too. That say we talk a lot about it, but as you know, you know there is not there is no metrics, is there is no process, there is no um, clear definition even of what is an influencer, a B two B influencer, not B two C influencer. So uh, it, it, it's very uh, interesting to be part of. The, the birth of this kind of movement. 